Welcome back to the channel everybody, it's Mark from Cricket Bat Info and today we're going to be having a look at a new balance. Now this one's been sent in from Rich on Instagram. It is a DC2800 and he's purchased it from Sturdy Sports. Now, it's really good for you to see everything that the retailer sends out. So not only does he get a really good quality uh, bag with his bat, which these bats retail for about $800 to $900. This is the Steve Smith uh, model. But he's also sent me what actually extra comes in the bat. So when they put the bat in for him, they give him a bat sock with their details on it. And they also give him a bat maintenance kit. So that's a little piece of advertising there. Now he's actually said he doesn't want it, so he's giving that to me, which it's very generous of him. There's actually a quite a good bit of kit there. That'd probably be uh, 25, 30 bucks worth of stuff in there on that bag alone. So, well done to Sturdy Sports for supplying that with the bat. Um, I'm very impressed. It's very well done. So that's a good bit of uh, quality looking after their customers. And Rich has also said, look, I actually had an extra one of these lying around. He bought another. He said, oh, Mark, you can have it. So he's given me uh, a tube of shugu. So thank you very much, Rich. That's there with 20 bucks delivered. Let's get on to the bat. So this is the grade one bat. Uh, obviously the model above the 2100 is the limited edition. I think I've seen pro edition or some other different types. So this is grade one willow. You can see here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight grains. Tiny little bit of speck. He's given it a light oil, he did tell me that, so it is a little bit darker. The stickers themselves are all embossed. And you can see here, nice embossing there and there. It's a nice looking bat, to be honest. And the color scheme on the back is that black, orange, and um, royal blue, sort of a dark blue, hopefully. You can pick up that blue in the colour. Let's have a look at the grains through the toe. And you can see there, they're pretty straight. It's got a little bit of a dent here, but I wouldn't worry about that. And he's even got the New Balance authentication uh, scratchy sticker there with the hologram. Don't know why they put it on the bat. I'm like, can't they just put it on the plastic? It's a pain in the ass to get rid of that, but I guess we just leave it on. It's a mid-low middle on the edge and the spine comes up a little bit higher. So you've got like a mid on the spine where a mid low on the edge. So it's really concentrating in this area here, uh, which if you're facing a quicker sort of bowler, you're gonna get a little bit more bounce. You're not likely to be hitting down here. You're sort of really hitting in this area up to here. And it's nice and full through this area too. So I do expect to see some action a lot higher from this sort of area here all the way up to about here. Um, Cause there's quite a bit of wood through that area there. But that's definitely gonna be where it's at its peak. Finishing on it's pretty nice. Tiny little dent here. I mean, he's obviously, it's been purchased from the shop, so there's gonna be some um, marks and things like that where people muck around in the shops. It's got an A on the shoulder there. You can see those grains heading straight down through. New Balance, as with a fair few other manufacturers, but New Balance exclusively is made by FC Sondi. In India and this is probably the the third largest manufacturer behind um, SG and SS so uh, you can have a look at it's actually quite impressive um, there's a video that Steve Smith did when he went out a couple of years to get his new bat and there was a whole bit of promotion very impressive to, to see all the machinery and that they used to put the bats together for New Balance um, nice bit of binding here you've got here three cork inserts and the handle looks to be really well made. The other sure telling thing about any FC Sondi bat is you will see these markings on them. Might be a different letter, but it always had two numbers. So the handle shape is round up the top here, going towards a thinner style here. Uh, but at this point here, we've got a little bit of a semi oval thing happening, semi oval towards round, let's say, and it's a little bit thicker. Um, it does carry some width up into the handle, which I do actually appreciate. I don't like these bats getting too narrow down here and there is some width up here. It looks to be a short handle blade. You can see just how full they're making them. So yeah, that is quite a full bat. 
uh, compared to what I've been seeing recently with some of the top of the line uh, SS's and SG's. Um, this year SS seems to be a little bit down on size but this one seems to be fine. And as far as width it's not as uh, narrow as the SG's I've had through. Probably looking still about 106 mil. The face camber itself is a proper 5 mil camber. You can see the gauge is flush on that. So that gives you that sort of balance between flat and rounded towards the edge. Adds a little bit more durability over at those edges and it's the same um, camber profile that you'll see pretty much with GM and uh, Keeley and some of the other back manufacturers. I'll just press that down on the spine and it is there's a tiny little bit of concave there I'd say maybe a millimeter um, but it's nice and full so yeah that is pretty impressive let's get the gauge out 25 26 at the edge very thick and 29.3 in the center of the toe up here at the edge remembering we do have that face camber we still got a nice thick edge uh, 41.8 Obviously the narrowing has a bit to do with that. And 14.5 at the shoulder. And 37.3, which I don't mind 37.3 up there. We'll measure that spine, but I'm pretty much convinced we're looking at about a 66 mil spine. 65.5, touching 66. That's not too bad actually. Yeah, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. So, yeah, my eyes are deceiving me, or is that? Let me get that right. This might be the sticker that's interfering, actually. I'll touch it down outside the sticker. 107.1. And over here, it's 106.5. A little bit narrow at the toe, but quite fine in that area there. Um, so, yeah, I don't think there's anything uh, deliberate about that. So with all that volume and those big specs, you would expect this to be, you know, around a 211, 212 bat. So let's see what it actually feels like in the hands. So as I pick it up, yeah, it definitely feels towards the, the 29, I'm thinking. Um, you can feel that it probably would benefit from an extra grip. I've got to be honest, it, would, it just picks up a tiny little bit on the heavy side. An extra grip will definitely provide you a little bit of a thicker feel and um, pick up slightly better. Uh, it's just because they take off so much weight through those handles. There you go, 29.3. So it picks up pretty much what it weighs. Pretty generous sort of size uh, for that weight. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. So 800 to 900 dollars. Yeah, I think, you know, considering, yeah, you're not getting 12 grains and things like that, but you are getting a decent quality willow and good volume. So let's actually test out how it's been pressed. Okay, so it's nothing happening up here, obviously. Start probably the beginning of that new belt sticker really going right there in the middle of the balance and at the end of balance it's still going and petering off so right there is its sweet spot and that pretty much calibrates nicely with the edge profile now that bat is actually in for me to prepare all right, I've finished knocking in this bat and you can see how well it's turned out. I do apologize for the, the reflective nature of these uh, stickers means that my own lighting just seems to flare up every time they capture any particular angle. So the bat is now fully knocked in and done my obligatory sugar toe on it. And yeah, pretty happy with it actually. Knocked in really well. Uh, we'll tap this up and you can decide what you think. So it's 
Peter will be out there. Going really well in that mid position. And down here in a mid low. And obviously nothing down here. But it's sounding really nice. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually really impressed with it. Um, really nice. Good quality grains. Uh, really nice bat. So thank you very much to the owner for providing that for review and that's what this channel is about it's about you owners want to see your bat reviewed you send it in to me i'll do the review pay the freight here and back and other cricket lovers all around the world can appreciate that particular bat from whatever brand that is and also for brands they can send in bats so that's the first new balance for a while and i hope to see a few more in the future Thanks very much, everyone.